A moonshot is committing to solving a specific problem before you really know that you can actually make it happen. My name is Mo. I... no. Uh, hi, I'm Mo. <laughs> Google X is the moonshot factory, the innovation factory of Google. They invent things like self-driving cars and do a lot of work on robotics. Imagine if you go to your grandfather, grandmother, and ask them if anything that you've interacted with today was something they expected when they were your age. Everything we've seen in science fiction is now science fact. You have your choice. Now you have to start thinking about what's going to be science fiction for you when you are their age. Everything that you've ever imagined or have ever seen in a science fiction movie is going to happen in your lifetime and mine. Artificial intelligence is real, it's here. Those machines are developing partial intelligence that way surpasses our human intelligence. They see better, they hear better, and sometimes they even reason better. Over the next 15 to 20 years, this is going to develop a computer that is much smarter than all of us. We call that moment singularity. Singularity is a moment beyond which we can no longer see, we can no longer forecast. The development of our world beyond the moment where machines are smarter than we are is highly unpredictable. Everything is possible. Those machines can solve every problem that we've ever faced, or they can actually decide that we are the problem and get rid of us. How do we contain them? We don't contain them at all. The best way to raise wonderful children is to be a wonderful parent. It's not the inventor of the technology that's going to set the tone going forward. It's the technology itself that's going to use the knowledge, the values that we communicate to it, to develop its own intelligence. How are those machines learning? They're looking at all of the knowledge that's out there in the world, and they're building patterns from that just like an 18-month-old infant. Remember when we gave our children those little boxes that had different patterns and shapes? That's the way computers are learning today. We basically write algorithms that allow computers to understand those patterns, and then we get them to try and try and try, and through pattern recognition, through billions of observations, they learn. They're learning by observing. And what are they observing? They're observing a world that's full of greed, disregard for other species, violence, ego, showing off. The only way to get those machines to be not only intelligent, but to also have the right value set, is that we start to portray that right value set today. The problem is unhappiness. Unhappiness has never been higher one of every four people in the world today is clinically depressed. Teen suicide is at an all-time high. Humanity has never had a better life. Our life expectancy is better, our quality of life is better, but we've never been unhappier. My personal moonshot is about making a billion people happy. Billion with a B. <laughs> your happiness is your priority. Invest in your happiness and then find the compassion in you to share it. Pay it forward. Tell others. If every one of us tells two people who tell two people who tell two people, that is the absolute design of an exponential function. I'm going to tell the world that my priority is to be happy and I'm going to have the compassion inside me to make others happy. This one billion happy mission is at the most pivotal time of humanity because those machines are going to be smarter than we are and they will be absorbing what we are putting out there. I'm leaving Google and I'm committing the rest of my life and my resources to this mission. If there are a billion of us telling the world that there is a better way to live, we will change the world forever.